Welcome to Ondermatt, Switzerland for a short 48 hour road trip in the brand new Audi RS4 Avant. Arriving at a hotel that blew me away, joining Audi Switzerland for two days, basically uh, at an event where we get to slide around cars all day long. Walking into this hotel was really just one of those wow moments. But anyway, time to check in and get this Audi adventure started. Sie bleiben bei uns bis für zwei Nächte. Eine Person in einer Deluxe Suite. Wir bräuchten einmal die Privatanschrift bitte von Ihnen. My colleague Stefano will show you the way to your room. Okay, fourth, second floor, the room O2. Onwards to find my room, well, suite, which I will show you guys later on. It was crazy. Then, because it was late, I headed straight to dinner and, just for a change, drank a bit of wine. I definitely felt very spoiled this night. We ate and drank like royalty and it was just such a nice evening. Look at this! This is my room. They gave me a suite. I'm staying at the Chedi with Audi Switzerland and I've just woke up feeling like a rock star. To give you some idea, this suite per night cost just under 3,000 Swiss francs per night and I'm here for two nights. That is just insane. It is the nicest room I've ever been in and slept in especially in my life. This morning when I woke up, I thought, how is this my life? Because sometimes it is just awesome. But right now, I've got half an hour before we head off and there's only one thing to do at that time and that is go and get some well-needed coffee. Let's do it. Coffee. Finally getting to the car part of the video by now you're probably thinking what am I watching has cars of Luke turned into a hotel channel well I haven't today is about cars and drifting some Audis in the snow but first of all Audi asked me to go pick up a classic Audi Quattro with a racing driver all we had to do was get it started mate so oh. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> Come on. Fuck it up, man. <laughs> so close. Quattro 2.2 liter five cylinder with great sound with a great sound so this is you know this is the original this is a piece of history that we're in now and I'm with Nico Muller who is a Formula E racing driver so yeah DTM is my main program oh, DTM but I also is. Do Formula E okay yeah, so. and the tape center line on the steering wheel is great <laughs> oh here we go no, no, is that to know for rally reasons well, they actually, when they do their pace notes, the drivers and their co-drivers, they 
intend to put several tapes on here yeah. to determine the steering angle they need to get around the ah, corner okay. so they can estimate their speeds and stuff. So that's only the center one, but they normally have many more than that. Oh, holy shit! Nico is gonna have his first go. Oh, first go at drifting. cool to be honest it is. it is you need to get the turbo spinning yeah, to get yeah. some power but keep uh, the revs up yeah do you, you even have a rev counter no no but, yeah actually there is but it's very dim exactly you don't, you don't get much time to look at it <laughs> pretty busy so. in here so uh, <laughs> that's great i enjoy <laughs> although the event was based on the new audi s4 and the e-tron there was an R6 lying around and me and Nico decided it would be a good idea and also very rude not to take it out for a quick blast on the snow where I nearly put it straight into the snow wall on the very first corner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, Send it! Send it! Everyone's gone home but me and Nico are having a little bit of fun in the R6. Nico just went full send with a load of people in the car. It's still in one piece, which uh, kind of. is a plus. There was a bit hanging off the Come front. On. It was no. it was half the Not bum even hanging worth off. mentioning. <laughs> and Nico is going to tell me how how bad my driving is. Ah, you'll do perfectly fine. Full send just means pretty much flat down all the time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> that was full send. Exactly. See what I mean? It, it did slide. <laughs> it did slide. Yeah, that part here is really slippery. The ice oh, really? is you polished. Mean that bit there? <laughs> that bit and that bit, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Silky smooth. Keep the throttle down. Exactly. And I got over the cones? Yep, right, I did. <laughs> that was one. That was one. <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to hit them, right? No, uh, you normally we try and drive around okay, them, got it, got it. we can make an exception as there's not many spectators anymore. Obviously a lot of power on the snow, we might argue we don't even need all of that, but no. still it's nice to have, no? Yeah. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, nice little low transfer. Flop. Arrived back in my hotel room after a long day in the cold and continued to live my pretend dream of what it's like to be a millionaire. Ordered some room service, some dim sum there, and sat in the most comfortable bathrobe I've ever experienced and just enjoyed every single moment of it. I then switched the fireplace on and quite literally rolled into bed. What a life. Today is the start of day two of my kind of Audi road trip in the Alps again. Audi and the Alps just go really well together. But this morning I'm going out in the brand new 2020 Audi RS4 Avant. Just go for a bit of a drive, gonna get my first impressions of the car. I'm gonna have this car again to do more of like an in-depth video and also a road trip video again with this one. But right now it's just kind of like a first drive, first impression. <laughs> like so that's just what you do in the snow this one is in black or to be precise it's called mythos schwartz and it looks stunning we've got bronze wheels on it as well and oh, it looks so good also got bronze stitching as well everywhere to match the bronze wheels 
what we have now is a very, very snowy road. Base model of the new S4 is going to set you back in Swiss francs, 105,000. This one is priced at 142,000. So as you can imagine, it's got a lot on it. It's got 450 PS, six cylinder, bi turbo. It's got everything you need to have a lot of fun. And of course, practicality. So I mean, at the moment, I've got a set of skis in the back and yeah, it's just one of those cars. The RS4 has always just been a legend. It's just always been one of those cars like the RS6 that if you can only get one car, but you want to have fun and you need the practicality, then yeah, it's an RS4 or an RS6. This 450 PS just feels, it's so instant. Even though it's definitely doesn't feel like, you know, any turbo lag, it's just punch it and it's there directly. Super impressive. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is some nice sound. I really can't complain too much about the sound. It's so fast. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, hello RS4. You hear more in this than you do in the RS6, I will say that. Flat down. <laughs> I love hitting the rev limiter in Audis. I know it's stupid, it's very, very childish, but it sounds so cool. So, small update. Just got back to the hotel. I wanted to finish off today's video by giving you guys a quick tour of my suite before heading down to the spa, which I also wanted to show you. I love doing these kind of road trip adventure videos that for me, they are just the best kind of video. And I want to do more of them. I know you all loved my This Is The Alps video and I promise you I will do more of them. Uh, I just need to plan a bit more because they are much bigger videos. But anyway, as I mentioned before in the video, they've had massive wind warnings up here the last 24 hours and now it's got worse. And because of the super strong winds, which also meant I couldn't film with a drone or really film outside in general because the wind was so strong, uh, it's cut the power to the whole village. So I have no power. I'm not even sure I can get out at the moment. The lifts aren't working. I guess I would have to find a fire exit somewhere. My colleagues from Audi Switzerland can't get in the rooms because it's electronic keys. They're stuck out of the rooms. I think I'm stuck in my room. I guess I'm just gonna sit around and enjoy the room a bit more just in the dark. And if you're wondering where this light is coming from, this is my very handy portable light, which is awesome. Just wanna show you guys quickly how windy it is out here. You get some idea. So a few hours later, the power was still off and I didn't drink again, by the way, just as you know, uh, the Chedi decided to serve everyone free champagne, I guess getting them drunk to distract them from the fact that uh, we had no power, which is a great idea, I think. The power finally came back on for the last five minutes before we left. We were already four hours late to leaving. So here was a very quick tour of my room. Had his own wine fridge, uh, which is fantastic. The kitchen with a coffee machine, sink, oven, everything you need. Two huge walk-in closets. The lounge was just incredible. You really felt like a rock star. Bedroom, the most comfortable bed I'd ever slept in. I also found the price of these beds online and now I know why. The bathroom was one of my highlights. I just love the materials that they use. Everything is just so pleasing to look at and to touch. Big walk-in shower. So there we have it. This is what around 3,000 francs will get you for a night. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, or I'm not being paid to say any of this. It was just an incredible time that I really wanted to share with you all. I ended my 48 hour trip by heading to the spa for a final time, enjoying the last moments of paradise. Life is definitely way more than living a luxury lifestyle. That's no question. However, you don't say no to such opportunities. And for me, every opportunity is a new story to tell on YouTube. But for now, it's time to head back down the Alps. Thank you so much for watching. And for me, it's ciao for now.